Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. About a thousand concussions were sustained by Hawaii athletes every year for the last decade. That, according to the University of Hawaii, and the school is now taking a massive step toward research of head injuries when it comes to football. Sam Spangler has more in tonight's top story. Sam? Lauren, Pac-5 and three-time defending state champion St. Louis are participating in the three-year study, with the Crusaders getting about 150 helmets across varsity and JV. Now, the helmets are designed to show how great impact force is and where, but also to help teach correct tackling technique to prevent concussions. <laughs> Ross Oshiro from the UHKRS department is the coordinator of the program. The goal is to decrease the number of impacts that these athletes take, so the cumulative effects of head impacts will, will be decreased. Each helmet is fitted with a sensor system, which instantly gives feedback to athletic trainers. G-Force registers on impact and is filtered by things such as height, weight, and position. The helmet has um, its standard pads on the inside. There's a sensor inside the helmet between the shell and the padding, and there's a little a uh, device that stores the data as well as the battery for the sensor. If an impact is great enough, athletic trainers can evaluate for a concussion. Then we'll see um, the location of the hits and then we can go ahead and talk to the athlete and be like, you're putting your head down when you hit, not supposed to be doing that, so try a little bit better so you don't get injured. St. Louis is one of the most physical football teams in the nation, but even its heaviest hitters have gotten feedback to keep themselves healthy. I do. It, it definitely helps me to know where to place my head. It tells me if I'm using my head too much or if I can pull back. With the fast pace of the game, implementation of technique will take years of mastery and teaching from the youth level. Yeah, at the linebacker position, I mean, pretty much hitting with a head every day. Yeah. Um, it's the way we grew up. It's like different from the era now where it's, we have to hit more with our pads. It's We're taught to hit with our face mask and a helmet. Results from the impact information gathered from the study will be important, but prevention is paramount. The end result probably that we would want this um, helmetless tackling to be instituted throughout the schools. Now the helmets were free for the schools, which will use them for the duration of the three-year study. During year two, a third team yet to be named will be included, and all players will undergo a 10 to 15 minute period of helmetless tackling drills two to three times per week. Dash, back to you.